so welcome to this channel. My name is Mats, I'm 32 and living full time in this van. I decided after some rough time in my life to sell my big house, buy a van, build it out and travel around to explore new places. And if you want to come along on the journey, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of my new episodes. So I've been waiting on this moment for a very long time. Today I will actually start painting on the outside. And when I'm done, I can finally get this van inspected and roadworthy. And this is just the fence paint, as you can see on the picture. This is an oil-based, so I would highly recommend an oil-based paint if you're doing something like this. I have uh, roughly eight of these buckets, and it's not even a liter, it's a little bit less, 0.7 of a liter. So that's the paint I'm gonna use, and it's graphite gray, semi-matte, because I think a matte finish is better to hide things. Then I'm gonna use this structured roller, so we have to see how I'm gonna pull this off, but uh, I think it's gonna be working great. It's probably not gonna be as structured as you get with a bed liner, but uh, as long as there's some structure, I'm happy because when you have structure in the paint, especially when you're rolling it, you're gonna get lines and the more structured the paint is, the less the lines gonna be noticed. So that's why I want it a little bit structured. This is dry, you can see that you get this texture. So one more coat tomorrow and this will be completely grey. So I actually needed three layers to make the panels totally grey. And in fact I'm actually doing every panel one at a time. This video is actually composed of clips I have taken for several weeks. I think that was a better strategy than sending everything and then just paint it. I can be wrong, but for me it was the best way to go. No rush, no stress. Just sanding and painting one panel at a time. of spots where it was rusty so I used a blaster to just remove the rust and then I used two component epoxy primer and then I just sand the surface down and then I applied the new paint and I don't think it's gonna be any problem to do that and the best part using this kind of paint is that if it's in any scratches or something like that I can just have a paint bucket a pencil and then just dab it on and it's good as new So in these areas where it was hard to reach with the roller, I used a pencil and I just dabbed the paint on to imitate the structure that I get from the roller.
in Sweden, the summers are really pretty. But unfortunately, we also have a lot of rain. Almost as much rain as sun. I could have done this with a sander. A tip is to use a regular sandpaper. I use 80s because the paint I'm using is so thick that it doesn't matter. Go over all the spots, like these uh, outlines of the letters and things like that with the, with the sandpaper in your hand, because otherwise the risk to burn through the paint is quite big if you use the electrical sander at once. And I want to spare as much of the original paint as possible, because that's a protective layer. So if I burn down to metal and use another paint that's maybe not as good as this one to keep rust away and things like that, then that's not good. White spirit, or as we say in Sweden, laknafta. This is used to, to clean and yeah, it's a solvent. So I'm using that after I have sanded everything down, just to make it clean. And now I'm gonna let it evaporate for an hour or so, and then I'm gonna go over and just paint it. It doesn't have to be so fancy when you're using this kind of paint. It's gonna stick super well to this, just by roughly sanding it down. So yeah, I'm not too worried about that and I could have just rough this up with a really 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 fine sandpaper and then buff it out and had kind of a new paint but yeah I'm not gonna do that because I have a large areas where I have fixed rust and everything like that and frankly I don't like white so yeah this would be really 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 good paint but it's a little bit risky if you see so I hope there's no rain today <laughs> but we have to see said it shouldn't be in the rain today yeah oh well I have to assess the damage on the new paint that I just put on but if I have a little bit of luck it won't be any problem maybe I just can rough it up when it's dry and repaint it but yeah too bad too bad no rain today they said no rain today.
So this is painted two times. Uh, it's gonna need one more time to be covered 100%. As you can see, you're still shining through the white paint. So yeah, one more cover and it will be done. So to paint the roof I had to put down the solar panels and the aluminium frame. At first I actually thought that I could paint around the aluminium frame, but getting grey paint on the aluminium frame would not have looked that nice, and why not do it right once when I can. I'm just using a brush because no one gonna see this. It's gonna be easier to just paint this and hopefully I'm just gonna use two uh, layers instead of three with the, with the brush. But yeah, I'm losing the texture but hair up on the roof, I don't really care. So the paint is done, it looks amazing, much much better than I thought it would be. And actually I have just passed it through the inspection, so it's actually roadworthy and I can get out on the road. So not to miss the next episode, make sure to subscribe and thank you for watching.